Hello guys, welcome to another video. And in today's video, we are gonna be looking at the detached market report for the city of Fremont for the month of July. And we're gonna be comparing it to the month of June last year. Um, and as if you watched my previous video, I did a similar report for the city of Hayward. And in that video, I had mentioned to you that uh, during uh, the pandemic, uh, the market had come to a, you know, not a stop, but it was in the months of March, April, and May, the inventory was very low and also the buyers were sort of holding back. Uh, but as the uh, interest rate market continued to improve um, and the buyer saw that real estate is holding very strong, a lot of those buyers came back in the market. And on, on top of that, you have new buyers that came on because of the rate market being so good because some of those buyers that were not qualified we're now qualified. So today, uh, what you're seeing is a very, very hyper competitive market here, particularly in the city of Fremont. Um, and let's go on the board right now to see uh, what the market is doing and how the market has adjusted in the month of July. So as you can see, uh, the metrics are very similar. We've added a new metric uh, on the bottom, which we'll go over uh, towards the end of this. So uh, take, to take it off, right on top, you see uh, number of homes sold, 109 in July 20 this year and 116 in July 19 of the prior year. You almost see there uh, uh, a negative, a decline there of 6%. Um, and that's definitely a direct correlation of what's been happening. Not so bad there, but uh, because we, we, we saw the inventory coming back in June and July, um, but definitely a decrease because of people holding back and inventory being low uh, there on the number of homes sold in the month of July. If you look at uh, the next metric, average sales price, you see uh, in the month of July this year in 2020, average sales price in Fremont was 1.345, so 1,345,000 compared to 1,225,000 in July 19, almost a 9.81% increase in 20 compared to 19. A pretty big jump there. Um, and you can directly relate that to what's happening as it's a hyper competitive market, not enough inventory. Uh, so homes that are, uh, you know, are being listed, there's bidding going on. So you're seeing a lot of, you know, the average sales prices are rising in the city of Fremont. Days on market, uh, not much of a difference there, 26, 25, so I'm not gonna dive in too deep on there. Uh, next, when you look at list price versus sales price, uh, this year, if you're, you know, if you're listing your house, uh, whatever you're listing it at, you're, you're gonna get about 1.29% uh, above your listing price. Uh, whereas in July last year, uh, you were getting about 0.43% uh, above asking price. Uh, not a big difference there, but you know, market is hot. If you're putting your home on the market, you're definitely gonna get above asking price. Here's the number that I really wanna talk about, and that, that's what I wanna, I wanna quantify here. Year to date sold, um, 779 in July of 19, and 519 in, in sold here year to date in July of 20. So a big difference there, a little over 200 units less in July. Um, that's a direct correlation of what the pandemic has caused where a lot of the buyers, a lot of the sellers, excuse me, are holding back on putting their home on the market in fear of the coronavirus spreading or a lot of people are, were scared of where the market's head is. There people were just holding back both on buying and selling and that's where it, you saw the difference there. So key takeaways today, what, I, what I've been noticing here in the local markets is um, the, it's a very, very competitive market. And for you to get your offer accepted, you need to have aggressive terms. Like I had mentioned in my previous video, um, you have to work with a qualified person. You have to have great financing, a fast close, and that's what's gonna put your offer ahead of the curve because it is a hot, hot, hot market. Second, um, what we're noticing is the sellers are finally noticing the opportunity here that the inventory is very low and they're starting to take advantage and you're st we're already starting to see inventory on a rise um, in, in already the first half of August. Now, what I feel like is gonna happen is usually what you have is the summer months are super hot and then it starts to taper down in September and October. Well, this year, I honestly feel that the summer months are going to bleed into the fall months where because you, you had minimum sales in May, June and even July. Now you're going to start to see September, October, November and even December 
being hot markets because now uh, all those buyers are still in the market looking and you have sellers that are realizing and taking advantage of the opportunity. The interest rates are, are low, so you'll see a lot, a lot of uh, buyers out there looking for homes. And if you were looking before, what I would advise is stay with the market, keep hitting the pavement with your agent, keep trying because it's all a numbers game right now, and don't give up because there are lots of opportunities out there and there will be more to come as inventory starts to come back on the market. That's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to share, like, and comment because I love to hear from you and I hope today's session was insightful. Um, in, our, in one of our next videos, I'm gonna be talking about refinancing uh, because the market has taken a little bit of a shift here in the last couple of days where Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have sort of changed their margins and you will probably see the impact of, of this uh, going into September. So if you are right now refinancing, I would suggest locking your rate. I will talk about this a little bit on our next video. Until next time, this is Karan Singh with Optimal Homes.